Is it recording? Yeah. Hi. <laughs> How's it going? It's me, Shark and Lead. Actually, not really. It's just me, Mike. Huh? Oh, I forgot. I have to move my mouth. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> hey guys, it's me. I've got an unboxing video for you guys. A lot of stuff. <laughs> this uh, is the order that I was expecting from Corey, my proxy. Corey is known as Stafford's EDC on Instagram and on YouTube, so I'll leave a link to his channel and his Instagram profile in the, the description of this video. Make sure you check him out. Great guy. Awesome proxy. Uh, I don't know what it is, but whenever he sends me stuff, it comes lickety split. Uh, he sent this out like six days ago, and it made it through the border, and it made it up here, and it made it to New Brunswick in six days. <laughs> this is extremely fast, and uh, yeah, very excited to get this stuff. So uh, I'm gonna—I already, you know, spoiler alert. I already opened everything up. And because uh, the knives, I get them shipped without the blades in them. So um, everything's put together. I just spent the last hour or so putting them together. And um, I didn't really spend much time with them. I just put them together, made sure that the action was good and everything was centered as best as possible, and then put it back in the box. So this is going to recreate the unboxings a little bit, but it's still. Uh, We'll see. It's not exactly the same <laughs> as when I first... He packaged it very well. I just kind of threw everything back in here again. But we'll start with a, not a knife. We'll, I'm going to set this box down so I don't drop it. So first off, we have a pen. We have a Bastion pen. Here is the... It's a bolt action pen. Here is the information. Hopefully you can read that. I'm sitting a little bit farther away from the camera than usual because Sometimes when I get a little louder, it kind of blows out the microphone on the camera, so I'm trying to sit further away so I can't really see that well, but anyways, whatever. So it comes, stay, it comes, uh, it originally came with like a little thing here, just to kind of protect it more. I threw that out because it was crap, but <laughs> uh, see it's in this nice little is that focused on there? There. Okay, this isn't working. I gotta sit a little closer. So this isn't working. There we go. A little bit closer. There. Right on. Let's move my light. A little bit. Oh. I don't have a very long cord on my light. So, yeah. Take it out of the box. Let me get back a little bit. Four minutes already? Holy crap! <laughs> I haven't even gotten anything yet. Alright, this is the pen. Look how pretty that color is. That is a really pretty color. Very nice. It's aqua. Oh! And it's got like a little metallic shimmer to it. Very nice. Um, nice little clickety clack. To it. Like that. Nice spring weight. It's not. It's not too heavy, but it's not too light. Really nice. Um, the pocket clip. You know, it's pretty basic pocket clip. Does it work? Let's try it. Oh yeah, that's nice. That's got nice retention on it. I like that. I can't even. Yeah. <laughs> but at least it doesn't tap, so that's good. So yeah. Uh, nice tight pocket clip on there. You don't have to worry about it. It's easy to get in and out of the pocket, but it's just it is quite tight. So I wouldn't really bend that because then you might go tippity tappity, and then that kind of sucks. But yeah, <laughs> yeah, I like it. Uh, I lost my other pin. I I ordered this, and then I proceeded to lose that pin. You'd think I did it on purpose, but I didn't. Maybe, but uh, the other pen I had. It's just a really cheap, I don't remember how much this is. If I remember to look it up, I'll uh, 
put the price right here. If I don't remember to do that, I'll just leave a link to Bastion's website. And uh, you can look at it for yourself. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just had a really cheap $20 aluminum pin before. And what's nice about this, well, what sucks about that, <laughs> the other pin was, is I'll show you right here. See how this comes up a bit more so that when this is seated, it's really seated in there. You're not pushing it over. The other one I had, it it just barely sat into a little indentation and then if you're writing with it and a little bit of pressure hit that, it would disengage the tip of the pin. So that kind of sucked. This, nice and solid lock up on it. So. I like it. It's a really nice pen. I like the color. Uh, it's a little more green than I was expecting. I was expecting more of a bluish teal, but aqua is more of a greeny teal. So, yeah, I should have known. <laughs> Anyways. Oh, I put it back. Anyway, I'm not going to try to open the box again. I'm just going to set this over to the side here. It's a nice pen. And they gave me all kinds of freebies with that, too. Uh, I gave Corey a couple of them because... I didn't need a whole crap load of uh, refills, but it came with like a bunch of refills for it. And then this little pouch, which is nice. So, nice little zippered pouch for EDC purposes. And that was free. I may have bought a couple refills, I can't remember. But they threw in a couple refills plus that thing. So, what's next? I want to save that for the end. I may have to cut this. There might be like an awkward cut in here somewhere. I have to leave at some point, so if there's an awkward cut, I apologize. Nothing I can do. Let's start the cheapest and go up. Yeah, we'll start with this one. The Kyubi. What is on my fingers? All right. No, I know it. it I know it's pronounced Kyubi. <laughs> Kubi. Kubi. Um, this is the, let's close this up, it came, okay, I'll show you, it comes in this, I don't know if it came in plastic originally or not, but it's just in this box right now, Corey might have thrown out the plastic, I'm not sure, it's just a budget Kubi, so it's not going to be like super fancy packaging by any means, okay, can you close, there we go, here's some information on that, does that show up? Might not even be showing up. I apologize. Oh, 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 there we go. Hopefully you can read that. If not, so be it. Okay, so you got a flipper tab and you got it's the 322. Why did I throw it away? <laughs> right. In case you couldn't read it, it's a KU322. There. So you got a flipper tab and you got a hole here for your finger to stick in. So the flipper tab works not that great. <laughs> it's, you know, um, a little disappointing, to be honest. It works if you give it enough of a gump. Enough gump. If you give it enough gump, it's it's okay. But, like, it, the T10 sucks on that. But it is great for... Okay. Trust me, it works. There we go. It, it works fine for that. It's... Uh, I didn't really live up to the hype. <laughs> I, a lot of YouTubers fell in love with this knife, and I was like, oh yeah, I gotta get that because it looks cool and everything, but uh, <laughs> the action is not impressive at all on this one. Um, but I may have done something to it when I put it together, I'm not sure. So I'm gonna take it apart again. I just, I just put together six knives, so I'm not gonna do this right now. <laughs> But before I do any kind of another video with this, I'm going to take it apart again and see if maybe I just messed it up somehow. Because, like, everyone else loved the action on it, and this is just... The only way I could get any kind of really good action on it, gave it, like, a crap ton of bay bla blades. <laughs> crap ton of bay... Blade play. Blade play. It gave it a bunch of blade play. Okay, I don't know why I can't say 
blind fly. But anyways, so, you know, it is very smooth. I'll give it that. But action, the detents kind of poo-poo on this one. But as far as ergos go, for me, it feels really nice in hand. It's a little bit like of a, it's not really a chunky knife, but it's definitely a little bit thicker. And it's a little bit taller this way than some knives, so it does feel the hand really nice. Hello? I'm filming a video. So anyways, yeah, detent's kind of, uh, it's smooth and it does fall decently well, but the detent's kind of poopy. Um, so I'm gonna take a little break right now. I gotta go take the dogs out, cause I gotta leave for a bit. So I'll be back with more knives. Stay tuned. It'll be instantaneous for you guys though, so it's not a big deal, but stay tuned! Alright, I'm back. Now, where was I? Um, oh yeah, so, uh, as far as first impressions go on the KU322 or whatever it is, uh, I gotta spend more time with it. Not super impressed with it right now, but let's see what happens in the future. Uh, next up, let's see that one. This one here, <laughs> I completely forgot about this knife. I forgot I bought it. Um, I bought it off of Tri State EDC. Oh, I'm dropping the stickers. So he threw in some stickers. Another channel that is growing pretty quick. Uh, I would, I would say you should check them out, but chances are if you're watching me, you're watching Tri-State EDC, but, you know, I'll leave a link to Tri-State EDC's Instagram and YouTube channel as well, because another awesome guy, some more stickers, here are lots of stickers, very cool, very neat, alright, stickers, stickers, stickers. Over there. So this is a quiet carry knife. This is the drift. <clears throat> More stickers. Oh my goodness. <laughs> there we go. All right. So what it comes in like this little uh, slide out thing. You've got like a thanks for purchasing limited warranty thingamajiggy, and then the knife just fits in there. Uh, yeah. Not super fancy packaging, but it is a more of a budget knife. This was, um, what would you call it, Kickstarter? Yeah, I think this was on Kickstarter. This is a limited edition Kickstarter version of the Drift. That's what it is, right? It's a Drift? I think so. If it's not, then I'll put the name in here or I won't. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, it's really pretty looking. Here, I'll zoom in on it um, so you can see it a little better. Like, nice colors in there, really cool. Like, uh, well, I don't know if this is resin or what it is, but it's really neat looking. Um, I can't really flick it that well. My thumbs never really work that well in thumb holes. Uh, it's more of like a two-handed opening or just a slow roll. A slow roll knife. Um, I like it though. It's nice looking. Feels really comfortable on hand. It's just not super fidgety. <laughs> now I do have it tightened up a bit. I could probably mess around with it a little bit more, but it is a nice knife. It's just uh, not super fun. So other than how pretty it is, I'm gonna keep it for sure. Cause um, why not? I can't even remember how much I paid for it. I bought it a while ago. I completely forgot about it. <laughs> so it, uh, I'll just keep it cause it's it's a pretty knife. Um, but yeah, quite a drift. 
Next up is Picaroon Tools, the Mutineer Army Hearties. So this knife, um, I don't know what's going on. Uh, <laughs> it looked really big. I don't know if people's hands are like smaller than I thought or what. <laughs> It's a. It's not as big as I thought it would be at all. By like what I've seen, I per although I did purposely kind of avoid seeing any kind of videos about th this knife. I didn't want to get any like too much um, like thought in my head. It doesn't even make sense, but you know what I mean. Uh, but yeah, it's it's not an overly large knife. Here's the action on it. Very snappy. Very cool Warncliffe design. It's like a seagull. Kind of looks like a seagull a little bit there. A little bit of lock stick on this. Um, I don't know if that's just from the way I put it together or what. I might have gotten some lube on there. I was crazy with the lube today. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I like the action on it, and the ergos are really good. It feels really nice in hand. Um, yeah, it's nice and sharp, but it's, uh, yeah, I like the knife. I'm excited to carry this and use it. Um, overall, like, as far as fidgeting goes with it, it's nice and, nice and, and fidgety. Nice action on it. It's got a nice sound to it. Oh yeah, I was going to measure it. Um, about two and, a th two, and a, two and three quarters cutting edge. Just shy, like an eighth of an inch shy of three inches. So it's just shy of a three inch blade. So it's not a very big knife. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it is, it is a bit smaller, but I'm not disappointed in that. It's just a little bit smaller than I thought it would be. But it's a cool looking knife. I like that. Probably keep it around for a while. Uh, I think I'll take this one apart again too and put it back together. Um, just because of that. It's not really an audible lock stick. It's more of a feeling. But that's annoying. <laughs> so see if I can get rid of that. But yeah, nice and droppy. Droppy. <laughs> so yeah, that's a mutineer. Pretty cool knife. Um, I'm trying, I'm going through this a little fast. I'm trying to keep it like a shorter video. It's already, it's all seven and a half minutes here, plus like 12 minutes in the other first part of the movie. So, movie, <laughs> first part of the video. So, I gotta, I'm trying to get through this. I'll have more thoughts and complete thoughts in the videos coming up. So, what's, that's the last one. I don't want to do, okay, this one here. This one here. And then we're getting into like nicer packaging too. A little more premium. Uh, this is a Kunwu knife. This is the Tao. So it's got a magnetic clasp or thingy here. It opens up and it has a really nice bag. Really nice bag with some beads on it. This seems like something that Obi Wan Kenobi would carry. <laughs> And it has a nice little lining in it, too. So that's cool. It's a really nice bag. That's a really nice bag. You can put the knife in that or anything else that you so desire. And then inside you've got like some paperwork, cleaning cloth, and then the knife. This is the large towel. There's a small towel. I got the large towel because I wanted the large towel. Nothing wrong with the small towel, but it's just smaller than the big towel and I just wanted the big towel alright this is another one <laughs> I gotta take this apart again too because it sounds a little dry whenever I use it uh, or flip it I should say oh my hands had pressure on the lock bar oh she drops oh that's nice she drops this was an impulse buy they were talking about it on lefty EDC's live one night. <laughs> I just bought it. <laughs> it was an impulse. It was back when, like all these knives, I bought them all when I was back buying knives and they, 
Um, it just took a little while to get here because I I told I told Corey to take as long as he wanted. It's not like Corey held these hostage or anything. I told him to take as long as he wanted with them, and I'm glad there was a bit of a break there because it just makes me appreciate them a lot more. Uh, yeah, it's cool, especially since I'm haven't been really buying anything lately so it's nice to have these kind of in reserve and bring them in here now kind of cool um, really nice looking knife let's zoom in on this uh, oh the wrong way <laughs> Timascus pivot collar I don't know if this is Timascus back here for the I doubt it it's probably just like a blue anode uh, standoff there for the lanyard pin but, uh, yeah, really nice looking. There's like an orange, I don't know if you can see that or not, orange peel texture on the knife. I was going to get that orange peel removed because I didn't think I liked orange peel. It, I don't, actually don't mind it. It actually feels kind of nice. I don't like the way it looks necessarily, but it does feel kind of nice, so... It's cool. Um, I was also going to get a like a hole drilled into this too, so I can do a reverse flick. But I didn't bother because I might sell this. I don't know. So I don't know if it was worth. I didn't think it would be worth investing more money into it. It's some freaking comfortable though. It feels really nice. And that action, like watch the drop on this spot, boy. Shaky, shaky. It could be better. It's on multi-row bearings, so and it does sound like it's a little dry. Um, so I gotta add some more lube, and I think it'd be better. But uh, it works great for the the flick, and then the front flip works awesome too. Yeah, really cool knife. I like this. This is nice. I'll probably keep it for a while. I like how they do the... <laughs> I like how they do the pocket clip <coughs> on here. The way they do that, it's pretty neat. Um, again, let's zoom in. Might as well. <laughs> as you can see, it kind of, it's like a true deep carry clip. Because it goes right into the handle scale. You can see the little line there. So it's, it's even though it doesn't look like it would work left handed, you can flip it over because it goes into that little slot in the back. So that's very cool. I like that little, little, little touch. Really nice. Really nice. Cool knife. And it's a really good price. Um, 185 USD, I think it was. So, yeah. Pretty good deal, I would say so. What else we got in here? Two more. Oh. <laughs> Alright, we got a Pena X series. I uh, my my Pena collection grows further still. So I'll do a little more. So that it's got a little sleeve here. Whoopie doo. And then it's got a little flippy dippy, you know, not a flippy dippy, a little slidey dighty here. Slidey dighty. And then it's got a uh, foamy womy. And then it's got a snacky wacky. And then it's got a wipey dipey. And then it's, get rid of the snacky wacky. And then inside here, dropping everything is. The knifey wifey. This is the Apache with the kickstop. Oh my. <laughs> and um, it's a little small. Um, I like the moolah that I have. It's a good size. And the... Lanny's clip. It's a good size too. Uh, this is a little bit smaller. Not a lot, but a little bit. I mean, it's, it's so cute! Uh, it's, <laughs> it's a cute little knife. Oh, I don't know if we should, Are knife guys supposed to call knives cute? I don't know. I just did. 
But anyways, um, so it's a little bit smaller. I wish it was a little bit bigger, but this is kind of the size, the normal size for a Pena, so I believe. I assume, but anyways, um, that's a nice action right there. And the flipper tab goes away. It's magic. It's pure magic. Please don't drop this in my toe. Very, very magical. Can you, there we go. Now, the only thing I don't like is what you just heard. <laughs> that little, um, this thing, I don't know if it's supposed to. I may have made a mistake when I put this together. So again, I'll probably have to take this apart. But right now, there's no, there's no like shaky dakey noise. It's solid. And when it's deployed, there's no shaky dakey noise. It's solid. Um, but when it's shutting, it moves a little bit. So there's a little bit Right? So, that, not that you will shake it that violently, <laughs> but it does have that little sound. Um, not a big deal, but I don't really, like I say, I might have done something wrong there. Uh, it's, like, not a deal breaker at all. It's just, like, clickety-clickety, but, I mean, it's the mechanic of the knife, so what are you going to do? It is really cool, though, to have a flipper tab on this, because that's such a snappy action. Um, and it's really smooth. Again, I'll, I'll take it apart and loop it up better, get it a little bit smoother. It might just break in more, but I don't know how much Lefty, I bought this off Lefty EDC, so I don't know how much he used it. He doesn't use his knives real hard, like me, so, you know, it may be broken, it may not be broken in yet, but, uh, yeah. I, I do like it, and it's cool that the flipper tab goes away, because since it is a smaller knife, it gives you the full grip so that's nice I'll probably keep this around for a while because I have other Peñas and this kinda like flushes out the collection, the Peña collection so yeah I'll keep this for a while and then it's nice to have something in the carbon fiber as well because my other ones are in natural micarta so it's nice to have a little difference there too but yeah Feels nice, action's really good, the ergos are good. I uh, don't know how I should say the ergos are good, it's just a, you know, it's very plain, very neutral handle, so it's comfortable. But, anyways, enough on that. Again, I'm sorry there's not very many complete thoughts on this, but I really haven't even carried these knives. These are just honestly first impressions. So, next up, finally, last but not least, we have. The wear knives. Say, is this? What's that? Is this way? Or is that way? Is it what? The wear knives. Lucas P. So it's in this little taco. Some stickers. There's a sticker, I should say. Sticker. And then a little card here for, you know, kind of like a. Certificate of Authenticity, right there. I bought this from, directly from Corey. Um, I bought a couple other knives and then I sold them. I got Corey to sell them for me. And I told him just to keep the money and, you know, to help put it towards a less old man. <laughs> this, I love this thing. This is nice. Um, I've I didn't carry this yet, but I, as soon as I, I put it together, I messed around with it a little bit more than my other knives. Um, again, I wish it was just a little bit bigger, but it doesn't need to be bigger. I, I, it doesn't, it's, you know, it's good the size it is. I'm not saying I wish, well, I did say that. How do I put it? Uh, what the heck? So much stuff. I'm good with the size it is. I just wish it was a little bit because my since my uh, knuckles are a little weird it would be nice to have a little bit extra room to it would make it easier to flip but it's just kind of awkward a little awkward for me
for me. But if you didn't have arthritis in your hand, you probably wouldn't notice. But anyways, <laughs> shut up and just flip the dang knife. Oh, ho, ho, hee, ho. <laughs> such a nice, such a nice action. And this thing is a G gorgeous, gorgeous. This thing straight up pretty. I love this knife. I normally don't like an acid, an acid, an acid etch on a blade, but I actually really like it on this. This is, uh, and it's so smooth. Oh, um, I don't think I need to take this one apart, but I probably should mess around. It's a free spinning pivot, somewhat. No, it's not. That was a different one. Oh, the Kun Wu was. <laughs> Yeah, it was a bit of a kung woo, if you know what I mean. Uh, trying to get that back together. <laughs> there was a lot of pieces, uh, you know, sliding all over the place. It was a pain in the butt. Plus, I'm pretty sure it was the one with the free spinning pivot. This doesn't have a free spinning pivot. Or does it? I don't know if it does or not. To a certain degree, it did. There's no, like, D-shape in it. But you could loosen it. I, you could, I could, I could loosen it and tighten it but it still wouldn't tight 100%. It doesn't need to be tighter. I don't know, maybe it's too tight. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying here. What I'm trying to say is, I could probably mess around with the action a little bit better. When I just kind of put it together so it was uh, centered, just so I could get an idea of the action. I mean, that action is pretty awesome. It's just not super drop shutty on the clothes. I feel like it could be more drop shutty, but it's very, very smooth. So this could just be how it is, but oh, it's so nice. And the ergos, um, really comfortable. I noticed in my right hand, I could feel that clip. Uh, it is like a little bit farther up the handle, and it's you know taking up a majority of the handle. So I could feel it, and in my right hand, but in my left hand, I mean obviously it's no problem at all. It's so comfortable. <laughs> I really like this. This is awesome. And it's nice to have the, I'm pretty sure these are made by, made by <laughs> Riot. So it's nice to have this in the natural micarta as well as the Peñas I have. It kind of all ties it together nicely. Um, Corey likes natural micarta. And I, th I think he might have been the one that convinced me. He doesn't know it, but I think he's the one that made me really like natural micarta because I really liked OD green micarta and then he you know I noticed on his channel he got a lot of knives in the natural micarta and I think that's what kind of brought my attention to it but maybe not we'll see we don't even need to see it is what it is uh, <laughs> um, yeah it's a really impressive knife I like it um, I didn't have the money when they first came out I think he's doing a second run, but I just didn't have enough money sitting around for the first run. Uh, and I was kicking myself for not getting it. And then, yeah, um, Corey had said he was, did he say he was, I don't know if I convinced him to sell it or if he decided to sell it. Let's put it this way. He knew I wanted this knife. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's really nice. I really like this. This is going to look awesome next to my Peñas. Yeah, I really like this. I'm going to try to make myself not carry this. I want to carry some other knives. Because I feel like if I just put this in my pocket, it's never going to leave my pocket. Uh, at least not for a while. So, yeah. So then, I have one more knife I got a few days ago. I'll do um, like an unboxing and first impressions of that one. And then I have... Another knife coming, a Skaha 2, I got, uh, my name came up on the list, so I ordered that. And after I get that, that's it for knives for this year, I think. I hope, I, in a way I kind of hope that's it for knives, but yeah, um, we'll see how it goes. Something might come up that's like really special and I want to get it, but we'll see how that goes. This is a long video. But it's one of the last unboxings that I'm going to be able to do this year. So I wanted to enjoy it as much as possible. 
So basically I went through this twice. I did it on my own, put them together, put it back in the boxes and did it with you guys. So uh, yeah, very, very exciting. I can't wait to start carrying some of these knives. Like I said, I'm going to try not to carry this one because I know it's going to go in the pocket and it's not going to leave for a while, but oh, I may just put it in my pocket anyways. <laughs> oh, and then I got one. I forgot. Um, what I have in my pocket right now is my ZT0640. The other thing that I got, one other thing, is it's a pocket clip. I finally got a pocket clip from MXG Gear that fits the ZT0640. The last one I got from MXG Gear was a knife was a clip that was supposed to fit the 0640 and it didn't. This one does and I think it looks pretty cool. You know the black with the black hardware and the black thumb disc. I think that looks pretty cool. And it kind of fits kind of fits the knife a little bit. I think it looks okay with it. Yeah. But anyway, so that's another thing I got. So quite a few knives, a pen and a nice pocket clip. I can finally start carrying this knife. I could carry it before with the the like stock clip, but man did that stock clip suck. <laughs> this is so much nicer. So yeah, anyways, I think I will end the video here. So thanks for watching. Uh, if you made it through the whole video, uh, bravo. I don't know if I would be able to make it through this whole video or not. <laughs> but thanks for watching. Take care.